And fire departments across southwest Virginia rely on special life-saving equipment to keep themselves and the community safe. But many have been struggling to get enough of that equipment. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett found out how one agency answered their call for help. This is a self-contained breathing apparatus. Smoke with a house fire or even hazardous material spills, uh, it provides fresh air uh, for the firefighter. Without these air packs, Pembroke Fire Chief Christopher okay. Neese says his firefighters couldn't respond to calls. When the going to fire situation would actually uh, could damage your lungs severely. And firefighters have been, been killed because of that. Pembroke and every other department in Giles County have been in a tough spot the past few years. Their equipment is either expired or about to expire. We bought ours in 2002 and the life of the cylinders with, that the air comes out of is only 15 years. So they've had to borrow tanks from other counties until they got a call last week. The department was awarded a federal emergency management agency grant worth more than $720,000 to buy an air compressor, 55 masks, and 99 new air packs split between fire departments countywide. We got this, it was a real relief. Wayne Woodyards, the assistant chief at the Poplar Hill Department and volunteers at Pembroke, where both his sons volunteer too. They applied for the same grant last year, but didn't get it. So they applied again this January. Excitement, yeah. It's almost three quarters of a million dollars, something we'd never afford on our own. The departments won't get the new equipment until the spring, but knowing it's on the way, Woodyard and Nice are breathing a sigh of relief. We, we've got a better chance of going home to the family when the day's done, and uh, you know, that's, that's the number one thing for us. We're going to be taking care of our guys, uh, giving them the best equipment that we can afford that's possible. Um, j just knowing that is a load off my mind. In Pembroke, Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.